Is a Six Sigma standard too ambitious? Six Sigma demands near-perfect performance, which can be very costly. But is it worth it? Let's take a closer look. Six Sigma is very explicit. A Six Sigma design process aims to deliver no more than 3.4 defects per million opportunities, suggesting that near-perfect outcomes are expected. Consider healthcare. Setting Six Sigma performance as a goal makes sense when distributing medication to a patient's bedside, performing surgeries, or preventing patient falls. It is reasonable to set a standard this high. Yes, it is an ambitious goal, but it is justified by the consequence of a process that fails to reach this standard. But now, let's apply this standard to a restaurant. We would expect it to serve no more than 3.4 unsatisfactory meals per 1 million meals. Here is the problem. Food and quality control costs would be so high that they would likely exceed the price that most diners would be willing to pay for a meal. However, a standard this high might be appropriate in a Michelin three-star restaurant, but not at a corner cafe. Not only at a restaurant, but there are many products and processes where a Six Sigma standard may be too ambitious or costly. A more reasonable standard may be more appropriate. Can a cell phone manufacturer afford to set a Six Sigma standard? What about an auto body repair shop or a customer support line? And would it be reasonable for an auto assembly plant to set a Six Sigma standard for its suppliers? This suggests that setting a Six Sigma standard may be unnecessary for every process, product, or service. If true, then where should standards be set? What about a three, a four, or even a five sigma level? In terms of number of defects per million outcomes, here's what it means to set standards at these levels. For a three sigma process, we expect 66,800 or fewer defects per million outcomes. For a four sigma process, we expect 6,210. For a five sigma process, we expect 230. And then for a six sigma process, as you can see the familiar 3.4 defects per million outcomes. In other words, if a five sigma level is established as the goal for a restaurant, this would imply no more than 230 customers would complain about their meals for every million meals served. So for every 10,000 meals, as an example, this would mean that 10,000 divided by a million times 230 equals 2.3 or fewer customers would complain. Still, this is a challenging goal. Even a four sigma standard would mean fewer than 62 complaints for every 10,000 meals. So where should the standard be set? Of course, it depends upon several factors, including the competitive environment, the quality demanded by customers, called the voice of the customer, or VOC, and the consequences of failure. Serving 3.4 bad meals does not bear the same consequences as suffering from 3.4 hospital-acquired infections. Thanks for watching.